Hi, welcome to Business Time. I am Melisha. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Today, I will be talking about the layout strategies that are used in a business. Now, when you are planning to lay out your production area, you have to make sure that you carefully think about how you're going to position the machinery, the equipment, people who will be working in that area. You have to ensure that it is well organized so that maximum productivity can be achieved. Some of the things that you will have to take into consideration when thinking about how to lay out your operation, you'll have to think of what space is available, the type of work that will need to be done, and also the volume of work. That is, are you going to be producing a lot of goods or just a small amount of goods? Now, the layout strategies that we are going to be looking at are the fixed position layout strategy, the process layout strategy, cellular layout strategy, and the product layout strategy. With the fixed position layout strategy, the item that is being worked on will remain stationary. It will not move and the workers, the materials and equipment, they will go to the product that is being worked on. Think about it, for example, if you're working on an aircraft, you really can't move it because it's going to be extremely heavy. If you're constructing a, a building, now, the workers will need to go to where the building is being constructed. You have to bring the material, the cement, the, the tile, the windows, the boards. The, I mean, all those things that are needed will have to go to that place. And so that is the fixed position layout strategy. Now let's look at the process layout strategy. So what this means is that all the machinery and equipment to carry out a specific function or process will be grouped together and are placed in a single workstation or department. So whatever task or specific task will need to be done uh, will be found in one area. So based on what is required to be done for each product that is going to be passing through the process or be produced um, because then you may have a little variety or a variation with products and so depending on what needs to be done it will be taken to a specific workstation or area to be worked on so remember this type of strategy is used to process items or provide services that involve a variety of processing requirements. So what this means, let's say we have um, two types of furniture to come in to be, to be made. So the first furniture, you will saw it, uh, lave it, mill it, paint it and then store it. However, the second furniture may not go through the same process. So, of course, it will go to the areas to saw, to mill, to grind, to paint, and then to store. They are treated differently based on its, their process. So they go through different process. So all the equipment, machinery for sawing, you'll find that in that workstation. For milling, you'll find that in that workstation. So that is the process layout strategy. Let's now look at the product layout strategy. So in the product layout strategy, what you find is that the products that are being made flow along a line of processes rearranged and we are more familiar with it like the production line or the assembly line. Think about it. So for example, in a bottling company or juice right so first you'll have 
the butters be placed on a conveyor belt and then the drink or the juice will be poured into the bottles and then it goes along the, the, the conveyor belt or the assembly line and then the cover will be placed on the bottles so it is a continuous process you'll find this with the flow production method Let's look at the final one, the cellular layout strategy. Now the cellular layout is a type of layout in which machines are grouped into what is referred to as cells. So the groupings are determined by the operations needed to perform work for a set of similar items that require similar processing. So with cellular layout, it is used when families of products can follow similar flow paths. For example, a clothing manufacturer might create a cell or a designated area dedicated to making a family of pockets, such as pockets for shirts, coats, and blouses. Now, although each kind of pocket is unique, the same basic equipment and methods are used to make all of them. So all pockets might be made in the same area and then be delivered directly to different product layout assembly areas where shirts, coats, and blouses are being assembled. And this is like a miniature version of the product layout strategy. It's just that it's not being processed on a conveyor belt or anything like that, but they are in areas in called cell and they move from one cell to another. A key thing to take note of is that the cellular layout is a combination of process and product layout. Well, that is it for layout strategies that can be used for the production area of any business. Hope you learned something. See you next time.